Hi everyone, I'm back. And yes, where did I come to after three weeks of after surgery? I'm back at Ritaka's. Uh, because when you're in the uh, hospital and uh, the recovery, you are not thinking about your face. So I am now, hi Sophia. Hi. I'm with Sophia Dow. She's gonna prep me so that mm -hmm. when Jed comes in, we are going to do a chemical peel. I need to reset my skin. Now I have to say this to everyone because I fear that maybe you guys think that these videos are sponsored. They are not. Ritaka, I'm not sponsored by Ritaka. Uh, they don't give me any discounts because I put these videos out. So I just want you to know, I just want to show you guys what I do to keep my skin uh, looking in optimal condition. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna, she's cleaning me right now, getting me ready for the actual peel. I'm gonna introduce you to Jen and she'll tell you a little bit more about it. I'll see you in a bit. All right, folks, I'm back. Uh, my face is nice and clean, and now we are joined by Jen. Hi, I'm Jen Greco. Um, I'm a licensed esthetician, and I work at Rataka Cosmetic Surgery Center in Med Spa. So I was just saying to Jen, I've been coming here seven years because she is going to be here seven years. Yeah. So she was my first person that I tackled this face of mine. So now she's going to do, what are we doing today? We're going to do a derma sweep first, followed by a chemical peel. Okay. And explain why we're doing both processes first. The derma sweep is just going to help um, get any excess dead skin cells off the surface of her face first so the peel can penetrate deeper. Okay, so I was said I was going to do just a chem peel, but I guess we're not. Mm -hmm. So we're going for it. All right, Jen, go for it. So what are you doing first? We're going to do the derma sweep okay. first. There's the derma sweep machine, and that's what she's doing. I've had this done before, and it feels really good. Um, it's kind of got a, what does it have? A diamond head in front of the, and what's the tip? Is the tip like a diamond head tip that's yeah. kind of like? It's like a crystalless microdermabrasion, pretty much. Okay. Oh, it's crystalless, so it's not really, it's not shooting crystals on your face, like the old fashioned version. Now, as I told you guys, I'm doing this because in the three weeks that I've been gone, I tried to start this week to try to get my skin back in shape, but Nah, let's just go the easy way. Let's just have Jen jack me up. So so I don't know if you guys can see, but I can literally see the skin coming off. She has a lot of dead skin cells, so this is going to be really, really good for her just to kind of get all this dead skin off and start with a fresh face again. Well, and that was what I saw. I could just couldn't get my... I couldn't do the exfoliation that I needed to do. I stopped using my Retin-A, of course, because you need, you know, time and effort to do that and you got to be diligent with it and I just you know what I was worried about my knee so just a quick update on the knee I'm moving today is my first day of driving on my own and where did I come I came to Ritaka's <laughs> <laughs> so and uh, anyway just FYI this does not hurt it actually feels really good it really feels like you're pulling that dead skin off mm -hmm. so now what other treatments do you do for me, Jen, and for anybody else? I do photofacials, which are probably my favorite treatment. That helps with discoloration on the skin, and it is the closest thing we have to the Fountain of Youth. It's the only treatment that's going to change the skin cells on the molecular level. I do a lot of microneedling, which you enjoy too, right? Yes, the I love the microneedling. Yes. Um, I also do hydrofacials. Those are good. Those Micro are laser good. peels, hair removal. I just do it all. Anything. She just does it all. <laughs> Anything skin or hair related. Yeah, and honestly, she's extremely good at it. Thank so if you, you no, truly, if you are in the area, um, you know, feel consider coming because you will get a treatment that will you will actually see changes in your skin. Uh, the VVL is the first thing Jen did for me, and um, I seriously saw, mm, the first time she did it for me, she did that, and I looked like somebody afterwards 
had thrown mud on my face because all that sun damage came. By the way, when she says the photofacial, that is the BBL, which is, what is it, broadband Broadband light, band light yes. Broadband light, yeah. So, um, so, as you can see, she's just sweeping across. There's a lot of dead skin there, right? Yeah, there is. I'm I glad saw we it. did this first. Uh, I know, because yeah. otherwise the peel just couldn't couldn't do the depths that it needed yeah. to do. Now, how heavy a peel are you doing for me? There's different le levels, right? Yeah, you know, Linda, I think we're gonna kind of do a medium depth. I'd like to be a little more aggressive with you, just knowing, you know, the current situation, maybe right. an extra layer than we usually do. Right. But honest, um, I gotta see how her skin reacts. So we might do anywhere from three to four layers. So you pat, you run the acid basically. And what is that acid? We're gonna use a little combo uh, on you today. I'm gonna use Ultra Jesner's. It has a brightener in it, has a little lactic acid in it. We're gonna use some salicylic acid to kind of really deep clean the pores. And we're gonna use some pure retinoic acid today. All right. Now, the the um, healing time. So what basically, how is this gonna work is what? How long does it take before you actually start to see your skin peeling? So everyone's a little different. Usually patients are gonna start to peel on the second to third day. They'll usually have, I would say, two to three days of extreme peeling. Uh, the last few days, you can kind of throw yourself together, I think, and no one's going to look at right. you funny. But I would say the whole, to be 100% perfect again, about seven days. Right. I normally peel, I actually start to see mainly around the chin area, just about day three. Sorry about that. An alarm went off. Um, okay, so... Are you going to do under here a little bit too sure, for me? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, please. Because I just know. Yeah, I see it. You see it? Yeah. You're going to feel brand new after this. Yes, I am. Plus, you know, when you've gone through a surgery, though, I've, like I've had, sometimes you just need to pamper yourself a little bit mm -hmm. to feel like a girl again. Yeah. Because you kind of just feel like a, you know, somebody's pin cushion. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, that, I could. I almost can feel you taking that skin off. Just, yeah, yeah. It's it's bad, right? I know. Jen was texting me while I was there, at the rehab facility. Make sure you keep your skincare up. And I was like, <laughs> really? I said, Jen, I'm lucky. I'm actually getting waking up in the morning, because, you know, the hospital. You just don't have that option that opportunity and you know you're on so many meds that you're just lucky that you're napping now here you go folks this is how my skin looks right now i love jen because she doesn't play with me she actually goes for it so i'm a little red but nothing nothing major and the skin feels really good so now the serious stuff we're doing peel time folks what do you mean what's what do you want me to do Oh, the fan? Okay. Noise. Yeah, so no fan. Okay. okay, so here's what we're going to do first. This is, believe it or not, she's actually going to use acetone on my face. That does what? Medical grade acetone before a peel is going to take off any excess oils off the skin. We really want to strip and dehydrate that skin so the peel can penetrate deep. There you go. You ready? Okay. And okay. I am going to get a little aggressive with her with this because I really want that peel... Uh, to penetrate as deep as possible for her to get the most results from it. You know what it smells like? The nail polish remover that you use on your yes. nails. So normally I give patients a fan. <laughs> but we don't want to make 700, you know, noise, background yeah. noise. So I'm just going to not breathe. That's all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now, this doesn't uh, burn or anything, folks. It's just stinky. It just really stinks. Keep in mind that this is the kind of stuff, too, when you have your teeth done, when you have your, uh, like I've had implant stuff done, don't they use 
stuff that, like to make your temporary that smells like fake nails. And it is like that. So, is it? Oh yeah. So let's see. Acetone on your face. Uh, hold your breath, bite your lips, darling. Okay. Pa you. <laughs> so I want to show you guys. Even though we've cleansed her, we've derma swept her. Can you guys see that there's still? I don't know if you can see in this light. Oh, yeah, look at that. A little bit of dead skin and junk on there. So I'm actually going to just do it one more time. <laughs> there Sorry, you go. Linda. <laughs> no, no, that's what happens. Uh, she has to get that stuff off. Yeah, you even derma swept me. If you hadn't derma swept me, it would have been even worse. Yeah. So it's just the smell that's bad, guys. And again, keep in mind, don't consider doing this at home by yourself. Mm -mm. Do not buy peels off of Amazon. I've had to fix a few messes. Um, you know, leave the professional grade stuff to the professionals. There's tons of at-home exfoliation. You know, Linda, I know you've reviewed a few. Right. You know, stick to that at home. But do please do not buy any medical grade um, acids off the internet and try to play with them yourself. You listen, will get into trouble. Listen, you know, this stuff in the hands of the wrong person, you can permanently damage your skin to the point you will never go back. So yes. and yeah, it's I've just, seen it. it's not worth, and, and it's not worth the, the chances that you're taking. So one more time. You know, a lot of times when the prices and things are too good to be true, they usually are. Right. I mean, honestly. And this range is what, Jed? I mean, what is the cost for this? So a chemical peel by itself is about 150. She added the derma sweep today. That normally by itself is 109. When you do the combination of both together, it's going to run about 175. So that's a great deal to do the combo treatment. Right. Um, we also are going to add on a red light. I think we forgot to mention yeah. that. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. That's normally $75, but because she's here for a treatment and it's an add-on, it's going to be $50. So she'll get a $25 discount. Yeah. So the point of the red light is what Jen the red light kind of what I love red light I think it's one of the best kept secrets in skincare it's going to speed up her uh, healing process it's going to stimulate collagen it kills any acne bacteria it's also the same light they use for seasonal depression so it's going to give off some endorphins so she'll be in a great mood all day <laughs> um, I just really really like red light I think it works well with these types of treatments yeah and I've also uh, there's a, it, it's perfect treatment that if you just want to have a little bit of a, a glow to your skin, you've got a special event or something like that, it's a great little treatment to wait, kind of brings a glow to your skin and brings like, um, uh, it, it's just brings, it just brings a glow to your skin. That's it. It's perfect to do like the day before you have an, an event or something. So, so now we're going on to the chemical peel portion of this. So if you guys have any questions as you're watching this, if you have any questions, uh, just as we had done with Dawn in the last video, feel free to leave them below, um, you know, and I will, you know, if it's something I can't answer, I'll let uh, Jen know and, um, or I'll, I'll put below your, her uh, email address and your, you can feel free to send her a message and have your question answered. So here we go. So Linda, please keep your eyes closed. Okay, we're mm -hmm. gonna start on the forehead. What's this chemical though? Which one is this one? So we're using the Jesner's peel to start. This one has a little hydroquinone for brightening, some salicylic and some lactic. Now, this is where I'm starting to feel it. Let me know when we want the fan. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what are you feeling, Linda? A little bit of burning. Bite the lips, which is absolutely normal. A chemical peel is a controlled burn to the skin. So you are going to feel a little bit, but it won't last long. Right. Nothing she's going to, you know, she'll be back to normal before she leaves me today. Right. Because at the very end, you do neutralize all the acids so they don't continue to burn. Actually, today we're using all self-neutralizing acids. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're just going to make sure she feels okay before she leaves. Perfect. Okay. How long does this stay? So we're just gonna wait a few minutes. I'm gonna see how your skin reacts. I think you you look good. How do you feel? I'm ready for the second pass if you are. I'm ready for you. Okay. 
Yeah, so I mean, if you feel the burn, but it's nothing that is unbearable. You see, I made a little redness, but the redness was there before. Okay. In the hands of the right person, this is a great treatment. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Same chemical? Mm-hmm, doing the same pass. Now, Jed, how come you're not taking this below the eye than the eyes? So these chemicals are too aggressive where we're gonna do more damage than good on that delicate skin right under the eye, bite the lips. Here at Rataka, we do have some specialty peels that are specially designed for that area. And, and I've had it done, and it those work too. If you want a mild peel just underneath the eyes to kind of just take that crepiness off. Yeah, not bad. Okay, sorry folks, the alarm went off that uh, told me to take my pain meds. By the way, they're not, not, not narcotics, therefore I can drive. I don't want anybody freaking out on me. She's taking narcotics and driving. No, <laughs> it's good. Okay, pass number three, what is yep. this? This is a salicylic acid. So we want to increase that skin cell turnover and really just make sure those pores are being exfoliated and deep cleaned. Now this one, we're gonna see a slightly different reaction. We're gonna see some frosting with this one. Okay. And it actually looks like little crystals on the skin. And the frosting means what? We're kind of close to our end point. Your skin is reacting really well. Okay. And can you see that happening on your forehead? Yeah, you see that, guys? See a little bit of frosting? Yep. Oh, yeah. So, Jen, mm -hmm. one of the things that we did before this is we did the uh, Vizia, mm -hmm. which is what? Explain that. A Vizia is a very advanced camera, and what's really fun about Okay, sorry for that interruption. So what is the Vizia? So a Vizia is a complex camera that is going to be able to show you your sun damage underneath the skin. It's gonna be able to show you your background redness and um, also your brown pigment under the skin. It is very, very, very detailed, and I love to use it as a baseline for all of my patients. Um, one thing I will tell you guys, when you get a procedure done, it is absolutely normal to look in the mirror a hundred times more. I do it, Linda does it, we all do it, we wanna see that change. With skin, you know, the change happens very slowly, so it's always a lot of fun after a few procedures to go back, take a picture of the face in the exact same lighting in the exact same position, and really get a wow factor for the results. Right, so I just had the Vizia done, and Thanks to being a child of the 70s and 80s and loving the sun, mm -hmm. even though my skin for my age I think looks good, there is damage under there. So this is where I would say chemical peels and uh, uh, photo facials are absolutely the best method of trying to keep those dark spots that are deep within at bay. Mm -hmm. They will come up. They're going to come up. What is there is going to come up. Keep your eyes closed, honey. But just keep, you know, doing these kind of treatments. And, um, you know, even if you do them a couple times a year, they will get your skin, you know, to the right place. I Bite the lips. And just remember, guys, we all want to see fast results, but skincare is kind of like a diet. Unfortunately, we can't eat one kale smoothie and be healthy. <laughs> so we just want to make, you know, little small habits to kind of keep our skin healthy, and it will all add up. Yeah, I would say that um, one of the things, too, is one of the reasons also to do these peels is that, you know, skincare, you know, normally 
is really more about texture. It's not really going to change the firmness of your skin. It's really going to change the texture and the coloring of your skin, the, the, the glow to your skin. But it cannot penetrate. It cannot get there if you have dead skin or you haven't exfoliated well enough. So I, here I was, even now, if I tried to go back to the skincare routine that I had, it was just going to work because I have so much... Uh, skin there that just doesn't belong there that hasn't been exfoliated so once this week is over I will go back to using my retin-a I do have to give it a week right Jed I should give it a week Absolutely. not using any active, no ingredient. active ingredients for about a week she's gonna only use a gentle cleanser extra extra moisturizer anywhere from one to seven times a day the more moisturized your peel is the faster it's gonna heal and sunscreen do not leave the house without it absolutely not so there you go now what's the next step so how are you feeling i feel good the bird is slowing down okay um i feel it mainly here okay as you can tell okay. uh i feel it here wow mm -hmm. what is that yellow so you'll see right here well mm. the yellow is retinoic acid okay. retinoic acid in its true form is yellow right now when she washes her face tonight she's not going to see that okay so you can see though in a few areas you'll see more frosting or a little redder you have to remember the skin is not completely flat there's hills and valleys so the peel will penetrate deeper in some spots versus others it's completely normal and i promise when she's healed you will not be able to tell no i I would going to do, so what I'm going to do is, going to finish. so are we done with the actual peel part? Yes, I want to go ahead and just uh, apply the red light now. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to go for the red light, but this is it, folks. So what I'm going to do is next week, I'm going to show you how my skin looks and... Um, are you going to show them what you look like peeling? I will show you next I week. That, okay. I think next week what I'm going to do is do a couple of videos, short videos, of showing you the progression of day two three, four, and then at the end, day seven. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. See you soon. Mwah. Hi, everyone. Now I have Sophia holding the camera. As you can see, I'm underneath the red light. This red light feels really, really good. Um, I do have goggles on, and those goggles are there, obviously, to protect my pupils and my eyes. Um, it just looks really bright under here and it gets nice and warm, so it's a perfect nap time for me. So once again, thank you, and I'll see you soon.